Afternoon folks, I'm Dave Canterbury with the Pathfinder School back in our series Woodcraft on a Budget. We talked about when we made our buck saw, we talked a little bit about the mortise and tenon joint yesterday. And what I thought we'd do today is talk about a dovetail joint. Because a dovetail joint is something that you can use around camp for building anything from structures to furniture to camp implements that will also help you conserve cordage that you may need for something else. Stay with me and we'll get started. Okay, so for ease of demonstration, let's just say that we have two pieces of wood here, and this one is oak, this one is poplar. And let's say that we want to connect these two pieces of wood in L fashion so that we could use this for something like hanging a pot over the fire possibly, or maybe even just something as simple as hanging a lantern off of in our camp. But this could also be used to create a table with two legs on it and then cross members or a chair, or a bed, or anything else. So this notch that we're going to talk about, this dovetail notch, can be used for lots of things structurally. Okay, so the first thing that we want to do is we want to create the notch itself in this piece of wood. And we're going to use the largest end to make our notch. We're going to come down from the top a little bit so that we don't split it out when we're driving one piece into the other because it is a friction type fit for bushcrafting purposes. So what we're going to do is we're going to take our saw, and you could use any saw for this. I just happen to be using a bow saw because it's what I have, or a buck saw because it's what I have. So I'm going to come down from the top a little ways, and I'm going to make a triangle type cut in this piece of wood. And I'm going to go halfway through the wood at about a 45 degree angle like this. Now I want to do the same thing on the other side, this direction, and the width of this notch is going to depend on the width of the piece of wood or the diameter of the piece of wood that I'm going to put into this notch. This is a fairly small diameter piece of wood, so I don't need a really wide notch. So I'm just going to come over a little bit and put another cut in here, cutting away from my hand, the same depth and at the same angle. Just like this. And if I look at those and they're fairly similar and fairly close, that's good enough. Now, I can put, I can come straight down here and make another cut, the same depth, like this. And the same thing here and make another cut, the same depth. And what that's going to do is it's going to give me a notch that I can pop out of there very easily and clean out. Okay, so the next thing we're going to do is we're going to pop this notch out of here. So I'm just going to pry it with my knife side to side like that and start popping the pieces out. Just like this. And if your cuts are a little bit uneven in there, don't worry too much about it. I mean, you could dress that up as much as you wanted to with your knife, but it's not all that necessary to get them perfect. What you're looking for is just a triangle in there. That's going to be your dovetail joint. Yeah, so we'll take this right here, and this is where we're going to make our dovetail. And we can use our ax to make our actual dovetail in our mating piece. And all we're going to do with that is the side that we want down, we're basically going to cut a flat on that, just like this. At an angle. Now, we want to form a triangle, so now we're going to take that flat 
and we're going to make that from here we're going to cut an angle in that to make that a triangle so we'll do both sides one at a time so we can get it pretty even we want our angle fairly even there we're not too bad off there there's our two angles and there's our flat and we could do this with our knife and dress it up with our knife on smaller pieces of wood on larger pieces it's a little more difficult now we're going to take this front part and just cut it off and that's going to give us our dovetail with our two angles now what we need to do is we need to match this up and see if we need to do any trimming here on this dovetail and it's meant to fit inside here just like this so you can see that angle needs to be a little steeper on both sides of this we'll take a little bit more meat off of both sides just like that and make that angle a little bit deeper and then we'll match it up again And that's getting pretty close now and that's the way that's meant to fit in there now we can pound this in once we get it right we got a little bit of bark here we'll peel that off it's in our way anyway we'll go ahead and trim this back into our dovetail just like that okay and when we're done and this fits in here the way we want it to we can then pound this into place so that it's held by friction all right now let's take our two pieces and we'll join them together like this hang it off to the one edge here just a little bit so we got room to pound get our axe pound that piece in solid so we got a solid joint right there okay so now we have a really good structural type joint that we can put a lot of weight on and it's not going to hurt it we could have put a notch in there to hang our camp lantern on we could have put a pot hook on there to hang our pot on made this a little bit longer use this over the fire if we wanted to but we have a very versatile notch in this dovetail that we can use for everything from making shelter to building camp furniture raised beds all of those things and avoid the use of cordage for the most part altogether and that's the importance of this dovetail notch Guys, I'm Dave Canterbury with the Pathfinder School. I appreciate you joining me out here for this short video today on making the dovetail notch. It is a very, very important woodcraft tool for you to put in your toolbox and understand how to create it with natural materials using your knife, your axe, and your saw. I appreciate your views. I appreciate your support. I thank you for everything you do for our school, for our family, for our business, for all of our sponsors, instructors, affiliates, and friends. And I'll be back with another video as soon as I can. Thanks, guys.